What makes me most interested in quantum mechanics as a Muslim is that it is one of the biggest milestones in human history. As if humanity has completed a full circle in its intellectual evolution. Why? Because the description of the universe that quantum mechanics gives us is not new. Rather, it is a very old an ancient mystical description of the universe. All mystic traditions throughout history have defined the universe in the same way as now quantum mechanics is describing it. This to me is very remarkable because when you have people in the past saying something purely based on their intuition, their scriptures, their mystical experiences, and then which this is confirmed by other people in the future using completely different tools of mathematics and experimentation. What that means is that they in the past were all right. And what is being reiterated is the truth. All the pioneers of quantum mechanics were very much immersed in spirituality and mysticism. Max Planck, the one who started the quantum revolution, was an ardent Christian. He is famous for saying consciousness is the most fundamental thing to the universe. Matter is derivative. Werner Heisenberg, famous for the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, Erwin Schrödinger, for the main equation that we use in quantum mechanics, Hermann Weyl, who developed gauge theory, which is now extended to what we call string theory. Uh, they were very much into Eastern mysticism, lucid mysticism, Western philosophy. John von Neumann, the man who wrote the Bible of quantum mechanics, proposed that it was consciousness that collapsed the wave function. Now, in the Muslim world, which happens to be the last of the distinguished mystical traditions, we had 900 years of Islamic science, cosmology, astronomy, etc. And many a times there were mystics who were writing about physics and cosmology, and there were physicists who were deeply immersed in spirituality and mysticism. In fact, the Islamic atomic theory, which is uh, Ashari atomism, it was actually formulated by theologians and mystics. So now for me, coming from that tradition, quantum mechanics is just new language to express an old field, an old concept.